All right, so this time um, we watched the Cobra Kai season finale clip, or if you've seen it already in the other uh, lesson, then we're looking at subplots and flashbacks this time, right? Um, but before we get to that, like we have to establish um, kind of what the main plot is, and it's it's kind of hard to tell. But since if you see if you've seen the show, the very first episode starts with Johnny and kind of setting the tone that you know thirty years after that tournament. Um, where he loses to Danny, his life isn't great, right? He doesn't have a good relationship with his um, ex-wife or his son. He doesn't have a great job. He's in between jobs, doesn't have a great apartment, blah, blah, blah. So it really is kind of the story of, of Johnny trying to find his way and using karate and then this new relationship with Miguel to find that he really is, you know, meant to be a teacher and he's not necessarily a bad guy or, or uh, you know, someone who can't get their life together eventually, right? Now, what are the interesting subplots of this particular... Uh, so that's the main plot, right? And along the way, all these other characters come back into play. Um, one of the interesting subplots is Robbie's relationship with Johnny. So we find out that, um, you know, Johnny has a son that he doesn't have a good relationship with. And then the subplot thickens because not only do they not have a good relationship, but also Johnny... Um, Robbie meets Miguel in the finals, right? In in this tournament, and he's being trained by his his um, enemy, right, Danny. So the the relationship with Johnny and the or uh, Robbie's relationship with Johnny and the fact that Robbie comes later in the tournament and is fighting is a really interesting subplot in that first season. Okay, there's also a flashback in the scene, and they show Jenny, Danny and Johnny fighting when they were teenagers, right? So that's that's another interesting thing that they do in the scene. Um. And it's and their moves, Robbie and and uh, Miguel's moves, kind of mirror Johnny's and Danny. So what you know, what are these things doing? These flashbacks and subplots. Well, one of the things they're doing is they're creating more complex characters and changes perceptions and decisions. Right? Like if Robbie had not, if Robbie and Johnny had a good relationship, first of all, or if Robbie had not been in the finals, Johnny probably wouldn't have had this moment where he realized that strike first. Um, and no mercy is sort of the way to live, right? He, he, he probably wouldn't have that recognition that this, is, this isn't this is good when it starts to affect people that you love, right? So that's one thing. It, it, makes, um, it makes Johnny more complex and it makes him kind of change his thinking. Um, it creates tension and suspense, right? Like when you see this and you find out that Robbie is fighting in the, in, the, in the tournament or that Robbie and Danny are closer than Robbie is to his actual dad, Johnny, you're like, ooh, this is interesting, right? It creates... Um, tension and suspense makes you want to read or watch or keep going um the flashback also does a nice job of showing the lineage like like the the miguel and robbie are trained to fight like johnny and danny were but also like the 30-year history and how important this is to johnny and to danny and how important it is to the audience if you grew up watching that right so it builds some really nice context, shows how important that is, and and uh, and also shows how much these characters at least fight and in some ways think um, like their mentors did all those years ago, thirty years ago. It shows that that how important that is in the, in the passing of time. So some of the other things it does is it creates this theme of family and forgiveness, right? Like we see um, that that Johnny and, and um, Robbie don't have a great relationship, and so family is important. But how do you make that work? And also, maybe is is, is family everything, right? Or can can you have family outside of your bloodline? Because we see family relationships between the the kids and their senseis and forgiveness. Um, Johnny's trying to work through that or trying to get there, and Robbie is also trying to to get there with his dad, taking baby steps here as he talks through to Danny through all those things. Um, you know, another theme as I think about it from the flashback is like just how circular time is and the flashback kind of also works to mirror that, right? Like in, you know, in that moment while Miguel and Robbie are fighting, Johnny and, and Danny are kind of reliving the past, right? And they're, they're transported back to that moment uh, when they were fighting. And it also shows just like how connected everything is, right? Everything kind of goes back to these, these earlier moments in life, you know, um, who we are and what happened to us in our past kind of, or what happens in our past tends to shape who we are in some way, shape or form. And we see that playing out as they've mentored these kids and they mimic their fighting styles and they're back to where they were, the, you know, the exact location, the same tournament 30 years later. Um, 
still fighting karate or, or, or being a part of karate. So those are the things that the flashbacks and the subplots do. And what you're going to do now is kind of look into your text and think about um, those pieces, you know, what, what makes your plot nonlinear? What are the subplots going on? And how are those things adding to your, your, your plot and to your theme and, and making it more complex and interesting? Okay.